Today on Kindle Love Stories, author, tattoo artist, and all-around amazing woman, Celeste Easton, is getting the chance to meet one of her heroes, Brett Michaels. We're here at Brett Michaels' house, and he is right inside, and very soon I'm going to be inside too. So let's go. Celeste, my love, welcome. Hi. Come on in. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I am awesome. Great to see you. Come on in. Thank nice you. Nice work, by the way. It looks awesome. It's killer. It's awesome. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. Yeah. I am fired up. Okay. Let's go talk all kinds of romance. Oh, yes. <laughs> Come on. So, Celeste, we both write love stories in our own way. I write it through music. You write it through book. Mm -hmm. And how do you approach it? When you get a thought, how do you, where does it go from there? Mostly it starts with character. And then right. I just want, you know, you want the characters to be happy. Right. Um, so then you bring in another character. Right. Um, and you have that, um, they don't really have a honeymoon period because there's too much going on. Right. Um, but they do have that one thread that keeps them together. You know, that Absolutely. one thing that ties every scene together and ties every, you know, conflict and every fight scene and every right. action scene and every time they're bickering back and forth, it's love and it, you know, it's threaded through everything. Absolutely. Um, but that, and that's how it usually starts is just with a character that's conflicted, but right. there's, and, there's conflicted still hope. And that underlying tension. What is your favorite romantic line from a book? Easy. Easy. It's one of my all-time favorites. It is a book called Almost Heaven by okay. Judith McNaught, yep. and it is I would give my life for the price of your smile. Oh, that is... Boy, I may rip me. that off. Unfortunately, I'm on camera, so <laughs> oh I can't... Oh, my gosh. That is beautiful. I've read that book 800 times, and every time I come to that line, I just swoon. Yeah. So romantic. Okay. Almost Heaven. Almost Heaven. Yep. Yeah. And the line again, one more time, so I can let it soak in. I'd give my life for the price of your smile. That is awesome. The boy. That amazing. That what works. about you, though? What's your favorite romantic lyric? I would say, you know, for me, one of the songs, I wrote a song called All I Ever Needed. Mm -hmm. And in the song All I Ever Needed, it wrote, All I Ever Needed is You. That's the catch at the end of the song. But it's, I don't need fortune. I don't need fame. I just need some shelter from the rain. And I just, I, I just, all of it throughout the whole song is. They're, they just need that person. They don't need to know how much money they had. Mm -hmm. They don't need to be in a house of gold. They don't, in the end, it boils down to, you can have all the fortune, all the fame, all the riches, all the everything, but you've got to love that person. That person you could be in an old school canvas pup tent, right, <laughs> from back in my youth, and you could live in there and love each other and find a way to make it work, and that's mm -hmm. what All I Ever Needed was written about. Amazing. Yeah. That's a great lyric. Thank you. I'm gonna swoon. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, man. This has been an unbelievably awesome, awesome talk. I don't wanna say interview, it's been a great talk just hanging with you. She looks in the mirror, but the makeup... Come visit us at KindleLoveStories.com or at our Kindle Love Stories page on Facebook.